Question 7. Diagram 4 shows the location of 4 stations in school. Okay. And then they say that this is a parallelogram. Question 1. State the value of ED plus DB plus BE. Okay. So this one is actually a very simple question. Only if you can understand this. Okay. So you see what they said here. E to D. So E to D is here to here. Okay. E to D. And then D to B. And then B to E. So you're coming back. So what do you notice? You started from point E. You went a full circle. And you return back to point E. So if you count this in terms of vector. The vector is actually zero, right? Because although you move so many places. But you end up at the same place. So you started from E. You ended at E. So that means the vector is you have never moved. Of course you have moved. But your net uh, movement is zero because you started at E and you ended at E. So your net movement is actually zero. So this whole equation here, this whole equation here is actually equal to zero. The vector is zero. So if the vector is zero and you find the magnitude of the zero, you still get zero. So question A is actually very straightforward. You just have to understand what it means, okay? Now, question B. The path from station E to D is parallel to x-axis. So this one here is parallel to x-axis. And then they said the displacement is 11 meters. So the, you are moving to the right. 11 meters means uh, 11 units. Lah. Okay, that means you are moving to the right. 11 units. Using vector triangle law, find the resultant vector from E to C. So they want to find E to C. Okay, so how can we find E to C? We can form our equation first. Question B. Eh? E to C. So to go from E to C, we can start by going from E to D first. And then from D, we go to, sorry, we go to C. So DC. Okay, so this is our um, triangle law. Lah. Okay, we have formed, we formed the equation and then we move according to the direction. So ED is given 11, right? You're moving to the right 11. So the vector is 11, 0. Okay, you're moving to the right 11 units plus DC. So what is DC? DC is actually parallel to e, EB, correct? So we can actually find the vector from E to B to represent uh, DC. Okay, so we can write like this. EB, the vector of EB should be the same as DC. So how to find EB? You see how they move. So this is 1 and then you move to, this is 5, right? The x value is 5, x value is 1. So from 1 to 5, so that means they move 4 units to the right. Correct? And then how many units up? So this is 1 and this is 11. 11. So you move 10 units up. So the vector DC is actually what? 4 units to the right and 11 units up. Okay? That's how you move. How, how e, EB move from E to this point here is 4 units right. And then to go up is... E, sorry, it's not 11. It's 10. Why did I write 11? It's 10 units. So 4, 10. So you move 10 units up. Okay? So you can actually write here. 4, 10. So 11, 0 plus 4, 10. You will get 15, 10. So that is your answer. Alright, question C. A boy runs from station E to cone K. Okay, so this can be... Okay, let me erase first so that you all can see clearly. Okay, so they're saying that there's a boy, he ran from station E to cone at K. So where is K? You see they gave you K is what? 5P, right? So 5 is actually same as the X value of B. So that means it's going to be on one of this line, anywhere on this point. Because here we know it's 5, right? So K can be here, K can be here, can be anywhere. It can also be at the bottom. We don't know where is K, right? But we know that it's going to be on that line there. With a constant velocity. Oh, so they give you velocity here. 
Okay, so give you velocity. He takes t seconds, so this is the time, to reach the cone. Based on the given information, write a vector equation in terms of t and p, hence find the value of t and p. So this question is actually, okay, they gave you velocity. This What you can do is, first always start by forming your equation. So they gave you the velocity. So this velocity represents the velocity to go from station E to station K, right? And the time taken is T seconds. So you can actually form an equation using E K. Okay, so how are we going to form? Just the easiest way is go to origin. So E O plus O K. Right, you start from E, you go to origin, and then from the origin, you go to K. So that's the vector of E K. Alright, so we're going to use this. So now, what is E K? E K, you don't know what's the, the vector, right? But what you know is you have the velocity and you have the time. So you can use, how, how we use, what's the formula of speed? Distance over time, right? So if you want to find the, the vector, the movement, that means the distance or the displacement, you take the S multiply by T. La. So D is equals to S times T. Correct? So you can actually do that. So EK, EK here, the vector, is the velocity times the time. So velocity is 3, 3i plus 4j. So I write in terms of column vector. So 3, 4, multiply by the time. Time is T. Okay? Equals to, what is EO? EO, we can use the vector of OE, right? OE is 1, 1. Because you, you have this coordinate here, right? So OE is actually 1, 1. So EO will be negative 1, negative 1. Plus OK. So what is OK? We don't know what is the coordinate of OK, right? Because we only have the first x value. So we know this is going to be. 5p right because they give you k is 5p right so that means ok vector the position vector of k is 5 and p so with this equation you can find your answer lah. so from here if we rewrite lah, so you get 3t 4t equals to negative 1 plus 5 and negative 1 plus p so here you got two equations here, right? So they ask you, so you already form your equation. That's the first one done. Next, they ask you to find the value of t and find the value of p. So we can use the first equation here to find value of t. So 3t equals to negative 1 plus 5. t is equals to 4 over 3, okay? Then you use the second equation here. So 4t equals to negative 1 plus p. So you want to find p, right? So 4 times 4 over 3 plus 1 equals to p. So what is p? p should be equals to 19 over 3. So there you have it. Okay, so this is how you solve this kind of question. The main thing is you have to take note the v and the t you have to multiply to find the displacement okay so that's what i did here ek you multiply the velocity and the time so once you have found the um, vector of ek then you just form your equation lah. so this one is eo plus ok this is the easiest way to form a equation lah. always go to the origin then you just plot in the values lah. then you just do like normal okay so this is how you do it